Hello everyone, what's up, how y'all doing? I'm here today to do a Virgo Singles reading by request from one of my subscribers. Guys, this reading is going to be for you if you have Virgo anywhere um, in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, then this is going to be your reading. Or if you're reading for your person, um, if you believe them to be single, then this is the reading that you should be watching, Cross Watcher for Virgo. So guys, I want to start off with a couple announcements here. I do have memberships now on my channel. I have three different levels. Level one at $4.99 is Star Babies, and that um, includes badges next to your name, um, custom emojis and live chats, which I custom make, shout outs and videos, and exclusive member only videos, behind the scenes footage, and um, a couple other things. Now, level two at $9.99 is my Stargazers, and that includes everything that level one has as well for you guys as a members only monthly video release this is looking like different areas i'll be exploring in spirituality how to ascend how to uh, raise your vibration so on and so forth okay and level three for my star ascended stars that will be $14.99 for you guys and you get to enjoy all of the perks and benefits of level one and level two as well as a monthly guided meditation video for you guys. We're meditating any way we can, wherever we can, out in nature all the time, getting it in, period. Thanks to everyone liking, sharing, and subscribing. Do like, share, and subscribe if any of this message resonates with you guys. Um, the website information is down below if you'd like to go over there and book a reading or you can book me through my email. Um, that information is down below as well. Thanks to everyone who is purchasing my extended and getting those personal readings. You guys are so legit. Thank you so much. And I have my microphone uncovered here. I've taken the filter off because I had a couple comments about um, the volume being so low. So I'm going to speak a little louder here for some of you guys. I'm not shouting. I'm just trying to accommodate all of my subscribers. For those of you who have a hard time hearing. And I do everything on camera. I shuffle on camera. And I don't have the option yet to have it where you guys can go to a timestamp without the shuffle. I'm working on that. I'll get it done here in the um, very near future for you guys. Um, so Spirit, what do we have for Virgo Singles? For Virgo Singles, what do we have? By request from my Virgo Singles. I'm a Virgo Sun sign also, guys. So, uh, And I'm single. So <laughs> let's see what we got, guys. I don't do readings on myself anymore. I mean, sometimes I do, but you know, I kind of count on my readers. I like my readers to do mine because they always resonate so good with me. We have new moon in Aries and new moon in Capricorn. I see new love already. There goes. So the new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. And for the new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. Ooh, can I tell you how awesome that is? So for some of you guys, you're manifesting, it's paying off, working on yourself, getting to it. Let's get your last card and get into your reading. This is the Moonology deck. Then I also have my Queen of the Moon Oracle, which I love. I have a few astrology decks and I just absolutely love them. I sure do. Show you your cards. New Moon in Aries and New Moon in Capricorn. It's time to take action and your hard work is paying off. So if you've ever wondered if your hard work is paying off, if so, what should you do? Spirit says, have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. Beautiful things can begin to blossom and grow here. For my nails, guys, I usually try to keep them painted for you all. I am cooking a full Sunday dinner. Ham hot snack bones, pinto beans, great northern rice, turkey dressing, corn on the cob, and um, what else do I have in there? <laughs> I can't remember so much stuff, but yeah. So excuse me if y'all like my nails a certain way. I don't like to get them done a whole lot, but I may start back here. My birthday's in a couple weeks. So I have to do something extravagant for that, right? But um, Spirit, what do we have on the Romance Angels for Virgos? For my single Virgo Spirit? What do the Romance Angels want to add to Virgo story? Let your friends help you. <laughs> So your hard work is paying off, but I feel like you need to let your friends help you. Ask for and self support from others. So maybe you need to start asking around about who's available, who's having parties, who has events. Start showing up and going to stuff. You're going to meet somebody because it's time to take action. Now you have to do the work, right? And it's going to pay off. Playfulness. You're probably going to run into a Leo or dealing with a Leo here. Guys, any more messages from the Romance Angel Stick Spirit for my... Single Virgos. Release your ex. <laughs> and then we have 
It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This card came out in the reverse. So you are most definitely feeling like it's not safe for you to love and you're afraid to open up your heart here. Um... I'm feeling out of fear of being hurt, but it could be something to happen with your past because it says the time has come to clear your energy, right? Let's so spirit, let's get some tarot here for my single Virgos. Let's get some tarot and sight for my single Virgos. Spirit, what messages do we have for the single Virgos? Single Virgos. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Oh my. And he jumped right on up there. Okay. Well, <laughs> Hero fan. Virgo. So you got a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming in, or it can be a Libra here, right? Water energy. The justice is the Libra card. I feel like you have someone coming towards you that's going to have a love offering for you, a genuine couple love. This could be a younger person, but it looks to me like this person is focused on relationships, partnerships, duality, balance, even and not the scales. That's Libra's energy, but it's also about partnerships, relationships, stability. There could be marriage involved. Even more than that, you have the Hierophant card here at the bottom of the deck. That's Taurus energy. This is your relationship and love life ascending to a higher level here, right? Your person that's coming in is possibly going to want to marry you. The Libra card could be... Um, you know, the justice there could be marriage. Finally, you have the story I get with this. <laughs> Finally, you have someone coming towards you with a genuine offer, a genuine cup of love. It's going to be the justice you need, the justice you seek, the justice you deserve. And it could possibly lead to marriage. For some of you, it is going to lead to marriage. All right, spirit. More cards for my Virgos, my single Virgos. Okay, single Virgos. All right. So I'm definitely seeing here that you've had a hard time in love, been overwhelmed, um, having a little too much on your plate. Taking on other burdens and stresses and worries. This could be other people weighing you down here. But, um... Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles here. This is telling me that you guys definitely have your guard up. I think you're guarded and your heart's protected, but it's like a situation you feel like giving up on because you've always been left out in the cold. Not always, but I just get for some of you, it's been a very, very long time. You've been experiencing this loneliness with the Nine of Wands here. This is almost completion of a very difficult cycle of persevering, right? Just trying to be strong, hanging on here, but it is the wounded warrior. I feel like you've been wounded in love, that you've had people turn their back on you, abandon you, and leave you out in the cold here. Five of Pentacles here. Some of you guys can feel like you don't have enough money moving forward to bring that of what you want to bring and create into a relationship as well but i'm definitely seeing here king of wands so this is someone showing up here um gemini i mean aries leo sagittarius so we have aries leo sag with the nine of wands with the pentacles virgo taurus capricorn and then chariot is cancer energy so i definitely see you have someone showing up here taking action right this person is coming in they want a new start with you this could be someone that's a rebel someone that um just goes for it you know um in this energy i definitely see this king of wands being someone that's probably already had their eye on you and they see you as um spiritual they see you as enlightened here they see the purity in you with the white rose that the fool has here so this person definitely wants to come forward and take a leap of faith with you not knowing what's on the, um, the other side when they take that leap but being confident in their own self and their own structure what they have going on in their life how established they are to know that they can handle whatever comes their way when it comes to you and this is someone that's very sure of themselves very attractive so i'm looking here like Kings can be queens and vice versa, so don't get too caught up in the genders here with this king of wands. It could be queen of wands, you know? It could be same sex for some of you guys. So I'm seeing also that your person is... This Aries energy is very cardinal. These are initiators. These are people that like to start things, to take leaps of faith, and then justice is here also. That's also cardinal energy, you know? Uh, they start the seasons off here. So these are very 
forthcoming energies with the full energy here this could be your energy virgo it could be the energy of your person but it's saying take action it's time to take action here with the king of wands and the aries new moon and aries and aries leo sag king of wands it's definitely time to take action or you have someone that's going to come charging in here someone that's probably watching you the king of wands is an observer this is a person that's going to sit back and watch you cross the t's dot the i's this is someone that when they speak, they're firm. Their word is law, period. And they speak it and they live it as their truth and they won't be moved in that energy. You know, it could be someone that you can work things out with. I'm not saying they won't be moved as far as you or the situation. I just mean this is someone that's very sure of themselves, very cocky. Probably, most likely, their queen is doing well. This is a person that balances work and home life very, very well, but is very passionate, you know. Um, chariot, Cancerian energy. So I see that you are going to come through this single cycle and phase you're going through just well. This is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is moving forward towards your dreams, towards your goals. You know, with tenacity here, holding those reins and taking life by the reins and taking control of the situation of the things that you haven't in the past been able to control. Okay. Any more messages from this deck, Spirit, before I move on to the energy oracle? For my single Virgos. I'll take these two and I'm putting the rest of these guys away. Anyway. <sighs> Four of Pentacles and Knights of Pentacles. Oh my, Virgo. This is so your energy. I'm thinking you've met this person at work. It's somebody you probably worked with. You have Capricorn here and then you have Knight of Pentacles here. Virgo towards Capricorn energy. Your person is coming in ready sure of themselves they're ready to take a leap of faith with you so they want to see you put these wands down they want to see you drop your burdens and get rid of that load that you've been carrying and it's not serving you but your person is legit watching you knight of pentacles here so you have someone that's very um meticulous very methodical this person is going to cross all the t's and dot all the i's before they come in very careful because when they come in they're going to bag and tag you this person is going to hold on and is not going to want to let you go I just hear, I'm not letting my Virgo go. Once I come in, once I get Virgo, period. And that's where this marriage offer is probably going to come in. That's where it's going to feel balanced at. Because this person genuinely has genuine love for you. Let me get an energy oracle card here for my single Virgos. Energy oracle. For my single Virgos. Spirit, what is the energy here from the energy oracle deck? Excuse the lighting, guys. I'm up by my front window. The sun just went behind some trees somewhere. But, um... oh, okay, we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Uh-oh, somebody's opening up that heart space. Okay, I see it. I see it. Door to personal healing. All right, and then... Burn, burn, burn. The thinking man, <laughs> where that little sound effect just came from, I do not know. I'll be tripping my own self out sometimes. <laughs> Any more messages, spirit, from the energy or the deck? From my third goes. If we get a jumper, I'll take it. If not, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, wow. As I was saying, <laughs> okay, I need the card for this. It's card number 38. So I want the book for that. So I want to get you this message from Archangel Raphael. I believe that is the heart chakra. Some of you guys, 38 to 46 years old, or your person is, you've been dealing with them nine months. The number 34 is significant here for you guys. Um, the number nine, 38 spirits, 38. So let's get your messages. Love, compassion, and self-acceptance, period. Love, compassion, and self-acceptance from... Archangel Raphael. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. Hmm. Wow. Okay. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. Just a second, guys. I have to turn my oven off. Very sorry. My turkey breast is done for the dressing. Who's 
sorry 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 guys you guys are great thank you so much i did not want to enjoy rating and i do not do funny stuff off camera i don't like to stop and re-edit if i don't have to let's continue so your heart center is opening up you know Raphael is here helping you to mend and heal a broken heart but I believe that your person is coming in already sees that they feel that you are healing. So this person could be sitting back like the Knight of Pentacles energy, um, strategically thinking of a way to come in. How do I get next to Virgo? Virgo's been hurt. Virgo needs healing. This card is the door to personal healing and happiness. So your person is allowing for the process for you to heal. It's someone in this cup's energy that's going to come in and love you like you need to be loved, like you deserve to be loved. Justice. When it comes to matters of the heart, for things that did not work out so well for you in the past, right? The Hierophant, spiritual lessons, spiritual teacher, enlightenment. You're learning the lessons, door to personal healing and happiness. So I see your person here, like you, is definitely, he has, or she has their eyes on the prize. This person is all for you. They are all about you, and they're going to come in with this offer that's going to be very tangible, very stable, very solid. But do watch out for possessive controlling type of energy that comes along with this, right? Whoa, okay, spirit. Thank you, thank you. Let's get you guys a queen of the moon oracle. Queen of the moon oracle for my lovely, lovely Virgos. My single Virgos. <laughs> what messages do we have for my single Virgos? Spirit. messages to a half from my single Virgo spirit Whoa. <laughs> beauty and trust <laughs> spirit says trust the process and then you have beauty beautiful 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 that's that king of wands energy i feel like your person sees you as very attractive they see you as someone that they want to get close to they want to be playful with this person has you all up in their energy space period <laughs> and surrender <laughs> yes okay so trust and beauty trust that this connection your person is coming in is going to guard you going to nurture you going to you know allow and ask for you to put your trust into them they see you as beauty they see you as divine they see the true essence of your inner being of your soul they see you right down to your right down to your soul you know like they don't just see you they see you they see you in that energy, right? So the universe and spirit and your angels are saying surrender to the connection. Allow for this love to come in and take place because Archangel Raphael is here helping you heal and mend your broken hearts from past, things that did not work out, from family, from friends. It could even be hardships you've had at work. Whatever is ailing you and hurting you and aching you right now, you have an awesome guy of spirit and teams and, and your, your angels that are helping you. What message do we have, spirit, from the Kipper Oracle for single Virgos? messages do we have like the outcome for my single virgo spirit who's coming in for my lovely imprisonment hey you dealing with somebody in jail waiting to get out i don't know <laughs> it could be a mental prison you and your person that's creating a mental prison on one side i don't know if it's you or your person somebody being very anxious about the connection false person here somewhere in the picture somewhere in the equation is this past energy that's coming in? What other energies do we have for spirit? For Virgo, I mean. <laughs> so I see here false person and mask. Um, thoughts again. And let's get some more cards. Any more messages for Virgo? Let me give Virgo a story from the Kipper. <laughs> from the Kipper for Virgo. Okay. I'm on a jumper. I don't want to pull it. <laughs> I don't want to feel like I'm influencing that. I just want spirit to give me a card and, you know. All right. Occupation. Somebody you met at work, for sure. Pentacles is all over this reading. And then we have thoughts. Yeah. So I'm going to get to the base of the... I feel like you have a false person here um, and they could be entrapped in their own mind. This can be somebody that has to figure out a way to show you who they really are to take off the facade here. It doesn't have to be any ill will or, or spite here. I just really feel like 
getting to know your person you're in the beginning of something it's going to be a brand new start you have the zero card here um that's brand new that's a reset button that's a leap of faith but um you're going to have to discern who is for you who is not for you here there's people around you that are going to be fake there's people that are going to be phony so now it's time to kind of filter out the friends and the foes what works best for you right i definitely see a mature woman and a child here so for some of you guys you could be dealing with someone that has a wife somewhere or a mother of their child or this could be someone's mother talking to them about a connection about being a better parent to their child about oh you focus on love how about you just focus on your kids here it could just be something you don't want to hear or your person doesn't want to hear and i'm picking that up I definitely see change coming in work and matters of your money, um, working hard, occupation card here. This is someone that really likes their work. They really like what they're doing here. So continue to do you and to work on you and to manifest and to grow. That can be how you're healing. You can be healing through that. Change is coming for you in love and matters of love moving forward here. But you definitely have somebody watching you. I picked up on that before. Somebody has their eye on you. This is somebody that is unknown to you. And... Um, I'm hoping that works out for you. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm going to get an angel answers. I didn't want to go this deep, but I'm like, I'm going to give you guys, while I have the energy and spirit is telling me to pull, I'm going to pull and give you guys this message. Angel answers. What messages do we have for my single Virgos? My broken hearted single Virgos who are definitely healing. What messages do we have for my lovelies? Take action. <laughs> <laughs> why am i laughing because it's crazy spirit is like look your spirit guys is like period you got the king of wands you got the chariot this is moving forward this is taking charge taking life by the reins and just going for it period king of wands nobody's gonna take action more than the king of wands with the chariot this person gonna probably come jumping in from a parachute on you you better be real careful watch out i'm talking about this person's ambition is unstoppable period unstoppable do you hear me and then spirit is like, take action because it can manifest a year from now. You still have healing to do, do the work. No moon in Aries. What does that say? It is time to take action. Then the chariot, king of wands, <laughs> and literally the angel saying, take action. You got to get up and take action, Virgo. And what does this look like for you? This looks like something like you could even... Just get up and do your hair if you're not doing your hair, if you're not getting up and going out anymore. Uh, be on social media. Maybe start going live, doing some live, showing yourself off. Some of you guys, um, occupation is here. So it's looking like you could meet somebody at work. So when you're going to work, when you're in these work situations, make sure you're paying attention to those that are paying attention to you. Because this person is somebody that you probably don't expect. It's not your usual type, right? So there's not going to be expecting this type of person to be attracted to you. But they are very much attracted to you. New blessings and a fresh start and let go of fear now. Energy healing work from Archangel Michael Deck. And Archangel Michael's here on bended knee. Like Virgo, take the action, Virgo. Take the action. You're going to be blessed. You're divinely protected. Arch Archangel Michael protects you with his sword here. Take the action, right? Take the action. Healing. New beginnings and a fresh start. And let go of fear now. Let go of fear now. You're guarded and protected. New beginnings and a fresh start. Beautiful. Beautiful. Somebody got Virgo on the brain. I hope you guys got what you needed from this message. I hope this satisfies my subscribers' request for the single Virgos. I will be incorporating a singles for all of the signs now. Thank you so much for that, for asking me that. You guys help me grow and glow because I'm here for you guys, and I see you're there for me as well. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, join my membership program if you guys would like to be a member and be on this journey with your girl stardust 1111 i love you all so much take care have a great day namaste